Luigi's happy? We gotta be happy! Jonas for posting this, posting this link in our sponsor Discord. Emily Rogers has just dropped a bomb. According to Emily, this is a this is on resetera.com. That this is what she says, and I quote: "Date may have changed, so please be gentle. But I'm pretty sure it's next week." First week of September. That's not it. There's more. But before we get to more, oh, I got to keep you at the edge of your seat. For those of you dudes that are like, who is Emily? Who is Emily? Bro, there are about three people. There's, there's pretty much only three people I trust with Nintendo leaks ahead of time. Emily Rogers, Liam Robertson, and Laura K. Dale. Those three, when they speak... They have legit inside information. Now, there are a few times when they're wrong. And I don't even want to say that they're wrong. It may be just that Nintendo, they've gotten the information. Their information is legit. But things happen. Nintendo changes plans. Something happens. They have to delay a game. And what they say doesn't happen. But for the most part, they are pretty spot on. So pay attention. So, a Nintendo Direct early the uh, the first week of september she's saying that i'm pretty and i quote i'm pretty sure it's next week and she gives us more information it covers autumn games games coming out this fall winter games um and then she has in parentheses september 2019 through march 2020 that's all the way into spring of 2020. So, this excuse me, Nintendo Direct could be bigger than we think. She ends her post by saying, <coughs> like some people mentioned earlier, they would need to have the Direct before TGC Tokyo Game Show. So, Nintendo's trying to get this Direct over before Tokyo is Nintendo gonna drop some bombs at Tokyo Game Show? We'll have to wait and see you. But according to Emily Rogers, we should be expecting a Nintendo Direct early um this week. This it's August 30th. So according to her recent era posts, which anyone anyone can see on the internet, that we're gonna have a Nintendo Direct at the beginning of September this week, specifically the first week of September bro and all of this makes sense Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct September 2018 they're just rinsing and repeating what worked last year has to work this year and so can't wait to see what Nintendo will reveal I'm hoping fingers crossed one or two surprises Nintendo surprises we already y'all already messed up with the overwatch leak uh, with the case being leaked on Amazon. So, oh, expect to see Overwatch possibly at this Direct. But what else beyond that? We don't know, bro. Oh, but the news does not stop there. Speaking of Luigi's Mansion, I'm hyped for this and I'm worried for this. Next news item, bro. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Bowsette. She tweeted this to me on Twitter. <coughs> this is a screen cap of Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. But do y'all see what I see in the lower left corner? Achievements. A gold ribbon. I think there are like three stars within. Destroyed hammer with one 
tether. But bro, I hate to beat a dead horse. Y'all know every time I talk about achievements, this gift is coming up. I hate to beat a dead horse. Part of me is saying at this Nintendo Direct, Nintendo's gonna blow us away with a revamped online system. We're gonna get achievements. We're gonna be able to message our friends. We're gonna have universal voice chats, party invites, the whole shebang. Or this is just gonna be in-game, which is pretty lame. Why tease us, Nintendo? Just give us achievements for our games. It's 2019. Y'all are so far behind. iPhone has achievements. When you get iPhone achievements. And we still can't. Nintendo achievements would be the best, bro. You know how lit it would be to have achievements for those NES games? Those online NES games? I would go back. And try to beat all those NES games. Even the games that I don't like. I would beat them just to get achievements. Speaking of NES. There was that leak. Of Super Nintendo games. Possibly. um, com Well coming sometime. There was a patent of Super Nintendo controllers. The same way the NES controllers attached to the Switch. For the online membership. So at this direct. Will we be getting. Super Nintendo games. We will have to wait and see. But Nintendo Direct should be sometime this week. But bro. Oh, I'm fingers crossed that I have power during this Nintendo Direct. Bro, I'm in Florida. And there's a hurricane heading our way all day today. That's why you guys didn't get a 7 p.m. I try to get my videos up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time daily. But... This week might be a little off because of the hurricane, bro. And so, I don't know if I'll have power back by that time. Um, I don't know if power is even going to go out. The hurricane is expected to hit sometime Monday. So, I've been putting up hurricane shutters all day. We got a huge two-story house. And so, I was on the ladders climbing. Man, it was hot on that roof. Um, and so... Um, I hope I get power to stream it. If I have power, I will be live streaming the Nintendo Direct. Nintendo, cooperate with me, bro. Wait until I say I got power back and then announce the Nintendo Direct. You know I'm the homeboy, Nintendo. Don't trip. All right. We got a couple of other news items. A new trailer has just been released. Casual Crashers Remastered for the Nintendo Switch and... The trailer gives us a launch date, September 17th. So many games in September, bro. Bro, so many games. Next news item, bro. This is funny. <laughs> I thought this was funny. Astral Chains. Chain. Getting great reviews. Smashing reviews. A dope game. I passed on it. It didn't. doesn't look appealing to me but just because i don't like it doesn't mean it's not a good game there's a lot of good games that i just don't like so astral change dope game it's i think it's on metacritic like around an 88 or something killing it in reviews in official reviews but not those user reviews user reviews i don't know if it's went dropped into the 60s yet it was right at 70 and it might have dropped into the 60s for user reviews one or two things Either dudes that are actually getting their hands on the game and playing it are like, you know what? It's not as good as everybody says it is. That could be a possibility. You guys let me know in the comment section. Or <laughs> it could be PlayStation and Xbox dudes review bombing the game <laughs> because it's not on their system. <laughs> what are the two, bro? Hey, hey, I got it all, bro. <laughs> Either way, the review, the user scores are nowhere as high as the critic scores. So, do you have Astral Chains? I want to know if you guys are liking the game. All right, and the last news item for this video, some Gears news, bro. Hey, I'm hyped for Gears 5, man. The game is looking lit, and I get it for free with Game Pass. So, Gears 5, GameSpot has done a editorial op on the game and 
they are impressed with the huge open worlds the open level designs for this game a big change from the series traditional first um, single player campaign gears 5 is set to have huge open world levels they're saying that some levels were up to 50 times larger than the gears 4 campaign so it looks like the um, single player campaign will be lit for gears I'm getting this game primarily for the online multiplayer, but I will try to beat the game knowing that you could play the single player campaign um, um, with your friends online, which I think is pretty lit. Oh, that's lit. She's surfing on the ice. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talk, 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 talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Bye. Oh, <laughs> well, Luigi, you scared you might not have real achievements? I'm scared too.